Hey everybody, welcome to the Wall Doc Way. I'm Jessica. And today's video is going to be a look inside our brand new Where Is Unit Studies. Now we have already done tons of mini units for some of the Who Was and we just added the What Was books. And your first question was, when would we start incorporating the Where Was or Where Is books? And today is that day. We are releasing them with eight books and mini units. The eight that are being released today are Where Are the Great Pyramids? Where is the Parthenon? Where is the Great Wall? Where is Mount Everest? Where is the Great Barrier Reef? Where is the Amazon? Where is Mount Rushmore? and where is the Grand Canyon. Now we will be adding more mini units as often as possible. So if there is one that you are dying to get your hands on, let me know down in the comments and we'll move it to the top of our list. To give you an idea of what is included in every mini unit, we are going to take a look at the Where Are the Great Pyramids mini unit study. Every mini unit includes our kind of signature page that has book suggestions, all with clickable links, a YouTube playlist and a Pinterest board that has a scannable QR code as well as clickable links. And then shows and videos that would be great to complement. Games as well that would be a great complement and any additional resource suggestions. Again, all of those links are clickable. We have a custom coloring page. Kevin hand draws a custom coloring page for every single mini unit. And then there is copy work in three different levels. So we have tracing, print and cursive. Then there is always some sort of notebooking page. This is a great pyramid notebooking page that would draw a picture of the great pyramid and write some fun facts that they've learned about it. There's always map work. So here they would locate the great pyramids on the map. And then there's some more information about where they are and why that's where they're located. There's always some kind of activity page. So in this case, there's a word search with an answer key, as well as a crossword puzzle with an answer key. We have a timeline where they can fill in the timeline of the Great Pyramids, either as they're reading it or as you're reading aloud, or you can even use this as copy work as well and have them copy the timeline from the back of the book onto the timeline page. And then there is a trivia card game. Now I normally like to print the trivia card on different color paper just to make it look fun, but I wanted you to see exactly how you would get it. So you get 20 trivia questions and it has the questions and the answers on each card. We like to play this similar to like a Professor Noggin style game where we take turns asking the question, whoever gets the answer correct gets to keep that card and whoever has the most cards at the end wins the game. It's also a great way to review. And then there's also a timeline matching game as well. Now there's a few different ways you could do this. You could just make this a giant life-size timeline. So you would put all the dates out and have your child, you know, run around and put the timelines down, the events that happened. Or you can play it like memory, which is what we like to do. Again, I normally print this on different color paper, just depending on what mood we're in what Emily's favorite color is. Um, and then we just flip them all over. And so we try to make a match. So if you flipped over, you know, 3100 BC and the first Pharaoh Narmer unites upper and lower Egypt, then you made a match and you get to keep them. And there's all of the timelines included. And again, if you ever need to check your answers, they're directly from the back of these books.